so big, so much to do and see. I'm a young prospect of prodigy. I can't succeed in being you. So you be you and I'll be me. I'll be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. I just like you, I'm gonna be me. Well, hello, friends. So glad that you can join us today. It looks like we have a message from one of our special viewers on the computer. Let's see who it is. Hi, hi, Kujo. My name is Michaela, um, and I'm five years old, and and I'm from Canada. And, and can you show me a magic trick? Thank you so much for your question. Let's try to figure this out together. Okay friends, today we're gonna learn how to do two simple magic tricks that are gonna impress your friends and your family members. Okay, and your pets too. We're gonna need three things to do this magic trick. One, a big pen. Two, a wooden stick and three, an elastic band. And we always have to remember to always ask a grown-up to help us. Okay friends, we're gonna show you the first magic trick and that's with a pen and a pen cap. It's very extremely important that you use a big pen because it's just much easier to do with this particular pen cap. So we're going to make this pen cap float onto this pen. Watch. Okay friends, woof, that happened super fast. Now let's go ahead and slow it down for you. All right, step number one, took the pen cap off. Then we rotated it around. One, two, three. Then we come from the side. One, two, and three. Then we bring the cap right back to the tip of the pen and we squeeze as hard as we can with our fingertips. And voila, you have yourself a magic trick. And I'm gonna show you now another magic trick that you can do, okay? Using a pen as well, the same pen. We're gonna make it float. So you gotta take your pen and put it in your hand like this. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's floating. We have a floating pen. Okay, how does it really work? Now, this is what it looks like on the other side. So you're holding your wrist, you're holding your wrist like this, and you have one finger, your index finger, that's holding the pen. So it's like this. You're holding the pen like that, but this is how it looks like on your side. But when you show it to your friends and your family, it's gonna look like this. So it gives the illusion that it's floating when it's really not. And that's what magic is all about. Now that we've done our first magic trick, let's focus on doing a second magic trick. I know one that's more cool even than the first one. We're gonna make the same pen float by using our hands. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we need to have a couple of things. One, the exact same pen. We need a wooden stick. We need an elastic band. And, oh yeah, we should probably get a mirror. All right, now that we've done the first magic trick using the pen, I'm gonna show you another cool magic trick. Watch this. 
we're gonna make the pen float. Last time we made the pen cap float, now we're gonna make the whole pen float. <gasps> Watch this. Close your hand, I'm squeezing. <gasps> Cool, eh? Now I'm gonna show you how it works. What you don't know and what you didn't see is this. I have an elastic band. Remember I told you about that wooden stick? <laughs> Watch this. <gasps> you see the wooden stick? And the elastic band is holding it. And then the pen is being held by the wooden stick. You see? But, when we show it from a certain angle, you can't see nothing. You won't see nothing. And neither will any of your friends or family when you show them the cool magic trick. Watch this. You start off, you're holding it, and then you extend your hand and woof, woof. Look at that angle. They won't see anything. But you and I know that you got a wooden stick that's holding your pen. Now you try it. You take the elastic, you put in the wooden stick, or you can even use one of those ones that you eat for sushi, a chopstick. You hide it behind your hand like this, and then you put your pen right inside. And look, voila. All right, everyone, I had shown you two magic tricks and I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm gonna show you a third magic trick. And this one's pretty cool. Since the theme is about floating, I figured I would continue and show you another floating magic trick. Okay, watch this. And here we go, it's floating. See how it's floating? Now I'm gonna show you how it works. Watch this. So remember we had the elastic band and remember we had the wooden stick? We had the wooden stick. So we have the elastic band and we have the wooden stick but everything is all about angles. So if we show you from a different kind of a view, you won't see the wooden stick. So you take the wooden stick the same way, the same way, and you put it right here where your wrist is. You take a piece of paper that you were going to recycle anyway, and you attach it to the wooden stick, but when you show from this angle, you crunch the paper and then you dig deep in yourself as a distraction to show the ball floating. Magic. Hey, Michaela. I wanted to give you a special thank you for asking me to show you one of my most favorite things in the world, which is to do magic tricks. So thank you, thank you so much for asking me to show you how to do some magic. So thank you so much and please keep the questions coming. For more information on how this experiment works, please view the box below. If you have a question that you want to go ahead and ask me, please shoot a video stating your name, your age, your location. And of course, don't forget to ask your question. Your parents can join in on the fun as well. Send your video at the email address below and we'll do our 
best to answer all of your curious questions. It's time for me to go, but I'm looking forward to seeing you all really soon. Remember to be kind, be brave, and to be curious. But most importantly, is to be yourself. If you like our videos, please click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and on Facebook. For more information about our show, please visit us at KujosKidZone.com. Bye for now. Succeed in peace.